What's going on guys? It's Greg from the Greggles and Dan show today. Hey, I'm going to show you the Gamefly streaming uh, app that is on the Amazon Fire TV. It is basically the same as the Nvidia Shale TV's uh, grid gaming system where you stream games that aren't stored lo uh, locally on your device and you stream them from, from a uh, server somewhere in the world. Usually a server that's closer, closest to you. So I, this is going to end up costing. So you can see it's looking for different servers. I'm in California, so it should choose that one that looks like it's in Seattle or wherever that is. Let's see what it gives me for speed. So if you look at the bottom, it's calibrated stream infos for 720p, 8 megabytes per second. I'm going to I don't know if you can change that. <clears throat> it doesn't look like you can. The menu button, menu button doesn't do back. I think back was probably just gonna bring me back. So we'll just play with this for now, just to check it out. But basically, these are um, all the games they have right here. It's mostly the same games as uh, the grid one that's on the Nvidia Shield TV. Let's see if there's anything good. So the prices don't look that great. They're seven bucks, nine bucks a month for, 10 bucks a month I should say, or like, what's the other one? $7 a month for 16 games. And the games are kind of old. So it's almost like this is just a way for them to milk money out of us for old games. Um, you can watch a trailer, why don't we check out a trailer real quick. That loaded up fairly fast. Running kind of shitty. That's definitely not smooth. The Nvidia Shield T Grid uh, service. I can I can do 1080p, 60 frames a second. I just use the ultra settings on uh, one of our latest videos, and it didn't slow down at all. So far, this trailer looks kind of wank. Let's get out of that. Faction, Pac-Man, Ridge Racer Unbound. So there's definitely some different games it looks like, but nothing. I'm I'm not a big Lego game fan. Batman, Darksiders, Pac-Man Edition Championship. Yeah, there's like nothing here I'm dying to play. Let's see, what should I try? I think if I do 10 minutes, if I only have 10 minutes free, I think Sleeping Dogs is gonna be the game that has 10 minutes of talking. Probably won't even be able to get to play it. I'm probably better off just doing one of these, kind of start it like a racing game or something. Be fair. <coughs> I think this is the first person. I'll check it out. This game's probably old as shit. Get ready to play. The countdown's in the top right. Press start. 
Let's do campaign, single player. Just do launch. Oh wait, can I change the settings? I oh, know you can't just. <clears throat> going, press any key to skip the movie, see how this runs, what's going on here. So it's kind of annoying for store press, like that doesn't go away, which is kind of, I maybe mean, it's only there because it's a trial, but otherwise it's kind of lame. So far, it's pretty smooth. And I really think this is, will end up being the future of gaming, obviously. You'll own a $100 box that plays movies and games, and you don't have to buy a big console or something with a big graphics card, as long as you have a decent inter internet connection. Yeah, it's pretty smooth so far. I don't see any issues with it. Okay, it's blocking it. Let's see, can I open that? Nope. Be stuck here forever. Is where I came. That guy's right there. Got his gun. Let's see what is this? Shoot it. Shoot it, baby. He has to shoot me a million times. So for store press, L1, R1, L1, R1, oh, you have to hold them all. So what do you want to do? Go to the store. Head back to the store. So that game gave us 10 minutes again. We'll see if it gives us 10 minutes per game or 10 minutes per, for everything. So I'll try Grid 2. Played that on the, check it out. Get ready to play. Yeah, so I guess you get 10 minutes per game, which is kind of cool, especially since if you don't want to You want to try a game out that way you don't have to buy it if it sucks uh oh 
this is running kind of crappy. All right, let's do this. Chicago Riverside. So far, I'm pretty impressed by the servers on this thing. I mean, <laughs> it's smooth. I don't see any lag. I am, I am playing in 720p. I think it was 30 frames a second, so it's not like I'm getting 1080, 60, but. It's still smooth. And I definitely noticed that NVIDIA's has improved as well, which is nice to see. That it seems like they're working on a little bit of artifacting right there. But otherwise, you can definitely use this to play games. Hopefully they'll come up with newer and more uh, interesting games rather than a lot of these older type games. <laughs> saw artifacting again right there. But otherwise, it's definitely... NVIDIA definitely has some competition, it looks like, with Gamefly streaming. All right, guys, we'll get out of this game. Go back to the store. Uh, if there's any games you guys want us to, to play or any emulators or anything you guys want us to test or check out, just let us know. Um, just thanks for watching, guys, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.